Now that we have the flipper in hand, or in feet, I should say, <laughs> let's cover the hookshot launch. This trick will allow us to skip Slimy Eel, one of the most RNG bosses. For this trick, we'll need to finish Master Stalfost, and during the fourth battle, kill him in the bottom right corner of the room. It is imperative that he's against both co corner walls. You can just base yourself off the movement in this video, or any other runners really. Nothing of this part of the setup is incredibly precise. The only thing to note is to hold bottom left during the opening cutscene to make sure Master Salfos jumps in our direction. Once the last bomb has been dropped, quickly go against the bottom wall and walk into Master Salfos. If everything went well, the hookshot will stay in the air after the bus exploded. After the small cutscene, the door of the room opens, and this is where I start mashing the bomb button in order to drop a bomb as soon as possible. The hookshot will be launched into the air, leaving you some time to place yourself on top of the bomb. The height of the hookshot being launched depends on when the bomb has been placed, so you might have to do the setup more or less quickly depending on that. You need to place the bomb's fuse part thingy inside the bright green part of Link's hat. The fuse can be slightly back, but not in front of that band. Once the hookshot starts falling down, press A once the bomb visually touches Link's head. No perspective, I'm talking pixel touching. This timing is not incredibly precise, and a bit of practice should make this easier. As soon as the pickup animation starts, hold right, and as soon as Link's leave the screen, let go of it. To explain the trick shortly, you jam the hookshot in between Link and the bomb. Just like the bomb balloons, Link's position seems to be tied to the bomb first, so the bomb reacts to the fact that the hookshot is under it, bumps up in order to avoid the overlap, and drags Link with it. Then the hookshot reacts to Link being a bit inside of it, bumps up, then the bomb checks, yeah, etc. Once on top of the dungeon walls, you only have to run to the right to get to the room. Do not forget to re-enter the dungeon to grab the workshop, you have not collected it yet. 